Disappointed at the judgment. Disappointed in the judgment. <sighs> Disappointed in the judgment. Disappointed at the judgment. Judgment. Just judgment. Everything that you always, everything that you see, you can't just, I mean, one time, at one point in time, it, things seem to be all good, and then at the next time, it seemed to be all bad. So what I'm trying to say is everything that you see don't always be what it's put out to be. I have witnessed on, at hand um, a bruise. I've witnessed false prophets, false preachers, false teachers, false leaders. I've witnessed homosexuality, <laughs> the fast life, the slow life, from infatuation to lust, to sleeping with the enemy, to being set free from fornication. The only thing that would have prevented me from getting into the kingdom of heaven. Going through to allow the Holy Spirit to bring me out. Of situations. To be able to help somebody else. Drugs. Alcohol. Disappointed. Very disappointed. I mean, first I think was thinking more or less that the message was for the messenger to make the make a long story real short. This show that we're doing here is called Let Go and Let God. I will be showing you guys some Footage, like I said, of when the young man hit me in my face, has struck me. I forgive him till this day. Um, the baptism haven't came to be yet. I, it was ordered by God, interrupted by man. You know how that is, too. Um, man always want to do things <laughs> when they want to do things. But God time will be perfect because he just don't want anybody to put their hands on me and take me down. And I appreciate that, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Because you must be clean. You got to have clean hands. Amen. Like I said, I ain't going to be disappointed at the judgment. Um, we talked about love. And that's another thing about being disappointed in the judgment. Love is something that you do 365 days. You know, it's not just in one day. It's not a one day thing. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So therefore, Jesus Christ is love all by himself. Love don't hurt. And what I want to say about love is um, that love is, is, is a commandment. It's like a number one commandment to me because you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven if you don't love. You have to love. You have to forgive people. I mean, I mean, I've learned to to forgive. I try to even forget. That's how good my love is. I don't want to be thinking about nothing in the past because what's in the past is done in the past. I like to leave it in the past. And, um... Then you can move forward and be blessed because that's where the faith really is exercised when you can forgive and you can forget and keep going on. And um, love. If you have to ask somebody, do they love you? The question is already answered. I mean, you must love everybody. And if you have a problem with just one person 
and you don't call yourself not loving them, that still make you a hater. Amen. Because either you're going to love somebody or you're going to hate them. Either you're going to be for that person or you're going to be against that person. Either you're going to... who oh, Jesus. Be with that person. Be together on things. Or you're going to be divided in things. Be separated. Either it's going to be we. Yeah, me and you. Me and you. Or it's just going to be I, 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 I. God don't have no respectable person. He don't have no big eyes, no little U's. Little U's, big eyes. You know. I need to read a scripture. Because before I show you this footage, I'm going to show you the reason why no retaliation was taking place. Because God placed people in positions. And when he does that, many are called, few are chosen. And you will find out, you will come to see who the chosen ones are. Because they're not the ones that's uh, leaning on their own understanding. And you don't, I mean, we can't find no fault in people. It's just... People just seem to do things the way they want to do it and not the way Jesus would want them to do it. So, before I show you this footage, it said, Dearly beloved, I'm coming from the book of Romans, the 12th chapter, the 19th verse. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written. Vengeance is mine, will repay, says the Lord. Amen. Now here's the footage right after I got struck in the face by the young man who I didn't even know out there in the, doing some things. He had no business. I mean, a lot of instigating and um, just foolishness because... One thing about it, if, if I don't uphold wrong, like I said, either you're right or you're wrong. Now, and you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Either you're going to tell the truth or you're going to tell a lie. And that's something else that I want to speak on because God honor marriages. But what happened when your marriage is a lie? So, um... I just want to just show some of this footage right now so you can see what happened to Cynthia Hunt. Amen. Huh? The boy won't let the stuff go. This boy won't let the stuff go. This going on my TV show. Show lives. Thank you, Jesus. Cause I'm still standing. Get a boy. She pops. She pops. I, I can't have all that cussing. Cause I'm using this. This is what happened when you live for God and you can still stand. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What had happened was. I got the lady Jesus. of the community. Yeah. Yeah. Highly regarded, yeah. highly respected, highly respected. My God. And Minister James Nelson mm. wants to go on record publicly saying, I support Eva Spencer 100% Amen. as director yeah. of CYD. I'm Thank behind that lady Jesus. all the way. And I want to send a shout out of love to my pastor, mm. Bishop Sedwick Daniels, the yeah. Holy Redeemer, Amen. Institutional Church yeah. of God in Christ, yeah. located yeah. 3,500. West Mother Daniel's mm. Way. Pastor, if you're listening, we love you. Love we you. still have some job openings with our, well, I'm getting kind of old as I get ready to call it a, a youth program, but it's actually for those who are 18 through 21, male through female. We have about seven openings. We're getting down to the end, y'all. And these are for young people who have been involved and have records in the juvenile justice system. But as an adult, once you turn 18, you have to be clean. So we pay seven twenty-five an hour. Some of the things we offer, and that's 32 hours a week, uh, education opportunities if you don't have your GED. We help you put together your resume. That's real important. Uh, we help you 
uh, learn the proper way. There is a proper way to fill out job applications. We're working hard with you to get you into long-term employment. Uh, we uh, work with you with educational field trips. Uh, we work on your self-esteem. Just all kinds of wonderful things. Uh, the maximum time you can spend in the program is eight months. And of course, this program is funded through my web over on 27th and North Avenue. So we have a lot of wonder wonderful people who've gotten jobs. Some have been in the program a few months, and they are working Thank through you. our training program and working the job. Thank you. So we want to send a shout out and continue to support our young people. There are more people doing right in the world than it is doing wrong. And I just want to send that message out there. Our kids are not trash. Sometimes we just talk about them like they're worthless, useless, but we have a lot of great achievers, and there's more great achievers, there's more people trusting in God than it is oh, not yes. oh, yes. trusting oh, in God. Yes. So let's continue to Thank support you, our young yes, people. My you know, yes. when you see them on the streets, them. don't run from them. Run to them. Embrace yes, them. Yes. Give them that word of them. God. Give them some Thank of the you, scriptures. Well, Give them some Thank encouragement. Thank so at this time, um, I want Amen. people to know that CYD is alive and well. Yes. Have never been anything less than that. And just a reminder, uh, as we uh, enter into our 44th year of service, we have never, never, ever closed the doors. We've never shut down the services of CYD in 44 years, y'all. Isn't that, isn't that a blessing of the Lord? Amen. Sometimes people, they think we've closed up all of this here. You know, anything in life, even in our personal lives, we go through ups and downs. You know, I don't know nobody who hasn't ran God. into issues that eventually they overcame. So um, CYD is a wonderful place. It's given me my career. And, of course, I was referred, and you hear me say this from time, I was referred to CYD by guess who? The Daniels family. The Daniels. Bishop, Bishop Daniels and all of them, the same church I'm at now. They said, go to CYD. Make something out of yourself, yeah. Brother Nelson. You may even have a career. And I didn't know what was going to happen, but Jeanette was so powerful in the word, her and Miss oh, Simpson, yes. so oh, convincing. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something. This is a testimony. This is what uh, changed me because I was a worldly person. Miss Simpson and Jeanette looked me in the eye. I was sitting across from them in a the meeting. I just got there. They looked me in the eye, and different things triggered different people. And I'm just going to tell you what they told me or asked me. What kind of man are you? I said, Lord, have mercy. You know, I'm doing so much evil stuff. And they challenged me. They said, what kind of man are you? And it stunned me. I was stunned. I said, Lord, have mercy. I did a self inventory, And I said, what kind of man am I? So I got to do better than this. So I just want to thank the Daniels family for helping lead me to my career. The next voice you hear would be that of Cynthia Hunt. I'm going to ease out of my seat and let her take mine. And of course, we got the first time home buyers program. You can get your GED, the CYD. We got the food and clothing pantry. We still okay. doing wonderful things Thank for the community. You, the AODA, you know, clinic, Praise mental health. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Obedience to God, whom is yes. the head of my life. Yes, right. Lord. To Jesus, who died on the cross yes. for my sins, and the Holy Spirit that dwells within. Amen. To my pastor, Pastor J.L. Holmes at Rose Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Uh huh. I'll sing my testimony yeah. song. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him. They praise said him. I wouldn't make it. They said I wouldn't be here today. Yeah. They said I'll never mount to anything. Yes, Lord. But I'm glad to say. Mm -hmm. That I'm on my way, and I just keep getting stronger each day. Yes, Lord. I'm still holding on. I'm still holding on. I'm still. Holding on to God's hands. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself. Uh -huh. Sometimes you have to speak victory. Yes. Doing your task. Uh -huh. yes, we do. And 
no matter oh. how you feel, speak the words that you will be healed. Oh. Speak over yourself, yeah. encourage yourself. Yes, Lord. Hear the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Sing that song, something. Sing it Tell now. Come on. Do do Sing it now. When you've done all that you can. Yes, Lord. And it seems it's never enough. Tell me, what do you say? When your so called family and friends turn away and you're all alone. Mm. Tell me, what do you give? When you're giving your all, and it seems you just can't make it through, you just stand up. When there's nothing left to do, you just stand. Hallelujah. And let the Lord carry you through. When you have done all that you can, you just Stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just stand. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise and 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 praise Okay, I have something else that I'm going to add. I have a, a minister that's coming forth um, from Rose Hill Missionary Baptist Church, where I am a faithful member of, um, Pastor Gray, Reverend Gray, his beautiful wife, Sister Diane Gray, you've seen her on the footage uh, with Rose Hill uh, Sisters, the Sisters of Rose Hill. Uh, it's his lovely wife, uh, Diane Gray, which is a good friend of mine, um, a mentor of mine. Um, he's bringing a message, let go, let God. What Reverend Gray does He's straightforward and to the point, and he don't, it don't take all day to get a message across. So that's the reason why God allowed the message to go forth. Um, and, you know, I just want to say, Reverend Gray, preach the word. Preach the word, Reverend Gray. Let go and let God. Amen? Mm -mm -mm. Amen. At this point. Mm -hmm. You know, the one thing that I like about Jesus is he's straightforward. Straightforward. You know, he doesn't beat around the bush. He's not going to lie to you. And the one thing that I always say, if you don't want to know the truth, <laughs> don't ask the Lord. I know that, bro. Because he will tell you the truth. Yes. Because I know, I know for a fact because I asked, the, you know, the Lord a question. So where am I at hmm. okay. in this walk? That was, you know, a long time ago. Because, you know, sometimes you think that, you know, you, you at a certain point. You know, because you know how man is, you think right. that you're at a certain point, and I asked him, you know, a little question. What All right. I, what is it that I have to work on? Because I thought some things, I thought, you know, that I was over it, it was gone, and he didn't come to me right away. Mm. He comes to you when he knows your spirit is right and you're ready to receive it. And I That's was right. laying there ready to go to sleep. Say that. And he started mentioning all of these things. That's what he does. It's coming up again. That's and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, <laughs> and when he mentioned it, I got yeah. on my knees and I started crying because I thought I forgave this person. Uh huh. I forgot I thought I was over these things. That. I thought it, 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 was, it was gone. They mm. thought that. But then it came up. And I was thinking, I said, I'm like, I, I didn't question the Lord, but I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, well, I asked a question, and you know, so I started changing things, because sometimes you got to look at it. I stopped looking at people so much that I started looking at myself a whole lot more. yourself. So that's where we go you wrong. Is because that. You can never fix say yourself that. if you're constantly looking at other people. You say that. So you that's why say I, that. Know, I let God you be the the man. man. Uh -huh. God is a priest's word to me. You're going to get hurt today. So, you're going to get hurt. Man, man. But the Lord told 
his disciples, what came to this point? You know, the Lord, you know, is about to go through some things. Right. And we have, you know, Mr. Peter. Peter, he, he's a very, he's a stubborn, you know, apostle of all of them. Okay. The one that always, you know, he's, he's quick to speak. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's why it's not good to speak. But, you know, he, he told him. That's right. <laughs> and so after his teachings, the Lord came to a point, okay, I got something to tell you now. I've taught you some things, and we're going to come to this point. He let him know. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. See, the thing about it in this walk, the Lord gets straight to the point. He knew what man was going to do. I like it. He knew. Yeah. So he said before, if you go serve me in this walk, yes. if you want to serve me, get up, deny yourself. Get out right. yourself. Because, okay. But see, the thing about it, you know, what happens is when you don't deny yourself, the Lord is moving those things out of the way because in this walk, we have people in this walk that they fight against the word. Mm. Go ahead. We preach this word time in and time on. Go ahead. <laughs> the word is preached over the radio. People still don't radio. listen to it. No, I don't know I, I, because I haven't heard, but I, you know, oh, you I know you. on the radio people ask crazy questions. People ask you a lot of crazy questions. The Lord is telling them, before you start anything, I'm going to let you know right off the top. Get out of yourself. Get out of yourself. Because, because one thing about it, you got to understand in this walk, self is man's greatest enemy. Besides sin. That's why people cannot advance in this walk. I mean, it's, it's a thing that people being this, have been in this walk for a long time. Teach the day, man. And they should be much higher yes. than where they are. Oh, yes. yes, oh yes. But they still the same way. Now, a few things have changed. <coughs> but if you look at them from this point, from 10, 20, 30 years ago, Nothing. if you look back and go back, oh, we. they still haven't changed much. They may have stopped, you know, they may not talk as bad as they used to. They may not, you know, think as bad as they used to, but a lot of that hasn't changed. They still doing those same things mm -hmm. behind closed doors. God don't like you. Now they don't take all day in this walk. See, we have to understand people are still, you know, they, they, yeah, they preach the word, they talk about the Lord very well, mm -hmm. but they still live in that secret life. All right. Lord, have mercy. You gonna get hurt in front of the people. Okay. Yeah. Now, one thing I look at it, I, and I tell people, if it's better for you just to be truthful. Because I'm, right. going to be yeah. truthful, I'm going to be true for you. Yeah, I'm I have guilty. Problems. I'm guilty too. Yeah, no, I have right. problems myself. Thank but you, you know, yeah, no. show walk, me up. Yes, if you Lord. want to, if you want to grow, you got to get out of yourself. Yes, you do. Yes, Lord. That's right, Doctor. You got to get out of yourself. Oh yes. Teach us today. I want to get out of yourself. Yes, Lord. People hang on to a lot of things. Get out of yourself. We hang on to a lot of things. Oh yes. People, they still got that stubborn spirit that they had two years ago. They still hang on to it. You can't tell them nothing. Let go. You try to explain. You can't. There, there's nothing that, in the word that she can tell them. We hang on to a lot of things. Denial. Mm -hmm. Now you know you're stubborn. I know I can be stubborn at times. I'm not as stubborn as I used, but I still have a little stubborn spirit within me because there's a lot of things I really don't want to hear. But then I gotta catch myself. That's right. Because I know you gotta know when the enemy is coming in. That's right. You have to know when the enemy is coming in. Oh, yeah. You have to rebuke that stubborn spirit. Come on, them great teeth, man. Anger. That's plain mm. All right. I know I have a problem with anger. Anger. Hey. When I get mad, my wife will tell you. Let's I go. break stuff. I won't hit a person, but I will break stuff. Mm. <laughs> used to. See, I, 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 see, I can relate because I know how it is. I, I had to let those things go, you know, hanging on to certain things. That's yeah, right. Great, man. Great. And I can understand and I can relate with my kids because they have little anger issues. Yeah. And I tell them that I know where I come from, it comes from me. Because you came from my city and I know that I'm going to teach you how to deal with it That's right. before it gets you in trouble. That's right. That's right. See, that's the whole thing, you know. The I have to grow up. See, in this yeah. walk, the Lord had to teach me how to get out of myself. Hey. Oh, yeah. If you want things to work, you got to get out of you. Yeah. Me and my children. Now, you have a lot, of, a lot of things, you know, people, they still... Now, me, I've never liked the person that talk crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not a person that talk crazy. Now, now if you push my buttons, I'm not going to, you know, see, I'm not like I used to be when I was in my 20s. I know you See, I, I don't cuss anymore. I, but see, I if you right. did it, I, I, I would. <laughs> but see, I had to change from all of that because I see that as a preacher, that, that's not right because my God is to represent. Go ahead. Right. I used to have a little money on me at the You better but say that. I know some people, they still have it. Today. Yeah. If you want to move in this walk, you have to let go of some things. Yes, right. You got to let go. And let go. 
Come on. Still hang on. Let's go. 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 In the end, don't doesn't matter. mean nothing. Don't matter at all. Because you got to realize in this world, teach, only one teach. Truth. that's it. You, you got to teach. There's only one yeah. truth. Yeah. One truth. Your Victor. opinions don't matter when it comes Victor. to okay. the Lord. Victor, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Either like you like serve the Lord and you love him or you don't. You got to say that. I know it right. Let go of all those opinions. Okay, let him go. Let him go. That's the word. That's the word. Let go. Put that word on it. Virtual reality. You got to come to that thing that this is. Reality. Yes, it is. It's real. This is not. We're yes, not living is. in a video game. Say memory. Oh, I'm not living in a computer. We're not living in anything like this. This is reality. Ain't never been man. Because I know when I was coming up, I used to, you know, thought that I could whoop the world until I got myself oh, whooped up. Let that live there. Until I understood that when I did certain things, when I went to jail. When I did certain things, I knew yeah. it was going to happen. I had to wake up. Yeah, I wake up. Yeah. When I knew I did certain things and I touched certain things that I wasn't supposed to. That extension cord was yeah. on my butt. I know that. I have to come to realize that this is a reality. That when you do wrong, there's a penalty. Yeah. To pay. Won't follow you. Bad choices. Hey. We got to let go of our accomplishments. That's you know things people they run around. I love it, Jesus. Yes, education is good. I love it, Jesus. There's nothing wrong with education. Go ahead. But. But, I come to realize that God. even in all of my experience after 16 years, mm. I lost my job. All right. Say that. And I come to realize, not me, it was a good thing because I know God was going to bless me, but, you know, to come to realize that even with my experience, it's all determined by God. Just because you got, you know, a bachelor's degree or whatever, it don't mean that you go find a job right away. No, no. Not in these times. Just keep okay. that real. It's all, it, it, and it's not real. by luck. Keep Where is the faith? It's all about, you know, our faith in the Lord. That's, yeah, it. That's it. See, I know there's a job out there. Yes. But I'm realizing that your education don't mean nothing. It's all about trust in the Lord. That's trust it. That's, that's what everything is determined by. I had to let go of that. You better say that. Go on and not just feel. Feelings. Feelings. See, see, the reason why I'm saying these things is because there's a lot of things that, that the Lord has been dealing with me in this walk. Yeah. Go ahead. Go you ahead. gotta let go of something. I had to let yeah, go of my feelings. Tell it, tell it, tell it, okay, come on now. But being in my feelings all the time. Deny it. You got to get out of your feelings. Get out of your feelings. Now, feelings is good. You're gonna feel. You have to feel. That's that's a part of life. When people hurt you, you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel certain ways. Oh, yes. Praise but you got to understand your feelings. Praise God. It's not supposed to stop you. Praise God. From apologizing to the on, person teach. that you want. It's not supposed to stop you from I admitting your faults. Yeah. I love it. And your feelings can hinder you in this walk because Say people that. have been offended. Yeah. Yes. And they have left the Let church. Go. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I look at it, there's nothing that's too great that, that's going to hold me from going to church. Go ahead, go ahead. Because God has been too good for me after not 39 years. And I know how people are and how people is going to be. Go ahead, man. That's why I know I can relate to any person today. Yes, sir. And not get mad at them. Go ahead. I know where to stop them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to cuss them out. I don't have to do none of that. I can oh, stop right. it where, where it is before Say it gets to it. But I know, I know that it's only a test. Yes, sir. Yes. Because like my mom said, like mother said, Pastor yes. says, you got to put your feelings in your back pocket. Man, you got right. to be nice. You got to let go of some things. Right. I have to let go of my feelings. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Come, come 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 Thank you, Lord. Now, I have two more pain. Come on with it. Just take your time. People are hanging on to pain. My God, oh, let my it go. God, I'm guilty. <laughs> oh, Lord, I got one right now. I told you, let I it go. I was just speaking to my wife this morning. Let I it go. My wife to yeah. speak a lot. Let it go. so bad, though. And, you go. know, I just had to mention to her that, you know, something that my mom did that I really didn't like. <laughs> Not meaning that I was mad about oh, the Lord, thing. It was just how it was that's done. That's a good stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. It was just how it was done. See, the thing about it, you know, you come, you come to know... The difference between right and wrong. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes. You to know. And you just know. it was right with what she did. Yeah. But it was wrong with how she did it. That's I'm right. right because it could have been done I'm a different guilty. way. That's I'm right. guilty. That's right. All right. I'm guilty. And I said, that's the only thing, you know. And, and, and I told my wife that I, I didn't talk to my mother for a good while. 
I didn't talk to him for a good while because, you know, it, it, it was just, you know, some things that it, 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 it was just that I wouldn't do because I know people hurt. Embarrassment, I don't think it's a, it's a whole lot of people that, that can accept embarrassment. Oh, I have All right, doctor. And I held on to that for a long time. Yeah. But God removed that, you know, a long time. But, you know, yes, things come to mind, but, you know, that's one thing I love my mom. I love my parents. But, oh, you know, yes, you got to. He really feels was. And that pain. Things do hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things do hurt. Yes, I try to run from a lot of things. I try to, you know, go to the service. Mm. I try to, you know, because of the pain, but, you know, I'm right here, right back, and I'm seeing that those same ones, mm -hmm. that I, that I got to help them yes, yes. to give them some encouragement. Okay. Yeah. And I had to overlook my pain mm. to help another brother or sister out. That's yeah. one thing I had to learn. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, in this walk, you know, you know, we got to go through pain. Oh, yeah. But sometimes, you know, as you know, in this walk, and we can, I can relate to every oh, preacher, you know, oh. that in this walk, yeah. sometimes you got to put your feelings aside. Oh, I yeah. Right. You got to look beyond the pain just to help another brother or sister that's, that's out there right. that's in need. Yeah. Yes, Lord. And the last one is the past. Give it up. They got people that are still living in the past. Give it up. Yeah. They're still living back, you know, when they was 20. Mm. Yeah. 50 <laughs> years old. Come on. We still, they still living back in the 80s and just 2014. Okay. Come on. And this is the new day. Let go, let go. That's why I'm letting go. And let's go. That's why now when you see me in church, because I want to be how it was when I first started going back to church in my early 20s. That I was happy every day in spite of the things. Go ahead. Because, you know, when you go through it things in life, yeah. things do change. Yes, sir. You yeah. know, you got to let go in this yeah. walk if you want to move on and yes, move sir. ahead in this walk. Say that, Reverend Gray. Because we do have a lot of hindrance. Yes, me. Fill my cup. If you want to move ahead, you got to let go of things. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Get out of yourself. Yeah, I need oh, to get, yeah. out of get out of that stubbornness. Get out of, get out of that myself. whatever it is that's inside of you. Get let it go. Out of myself, because if you look at it, it's a hindrance. That's what it the Lord is. said. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. It is. It is true. Because you got to understand that this walk is not about you. It's yeah. not about me. No, it's not. It has not. nothing to do with you because if it was... You be okay. Yeah. All right. You be, be in Bill okay. Gates shoes. Yeah. You be in some of these billionaire shoes if they black was how you want it to be. But it's not like that. It ain't like that. That's one thing when I tell people in this real. world, you have to come to understand one thing that in All this right. life, you gotta come to this Keep final conclusion. The life is never gonna go your way. If you think it's gonna go your way, you might as well forget about it. Life don't work like that. Don't work that way. You gotta start letting go of certain things. You start letting go of those things because yes. I'm learning. That it's not good to have a whole lot of friends. Uh -uh. It's you not good to have you know, all these things. It's, that, that's not good. It's good to have certain friends, those that love you. But it's not good to, you know, because those things are you. Okay. And all I can tell you now, I don't have no friends. Yes, when, I, when I was called to the ministry, all of my friends, that I, my so-called friends that I had, they, they walked away. Oh, yeah. Yes. Not meaning that I was trying to preach to them. You know, you're trying to get some words in the curve, but you know how people is. That's just, you know, how it is in this walk. When you're a preacher, you're going to live a long life. As a Christian, you're going to live a long life. Oh, yes. When you stand for the Lord, that's when you're going to have a time in your life. Oh, yes. Say that. Yes. Well, stand up for the Lord. That's it. Oh, my, my, my. That's it. Oh, we. Jesus. And lose some family, too. <laughs> my God. Yes, Lord. And lastly, Let go. he gave a thing. He says to take up his cross. And follow, and follow him. And follow him. Now. This is the hard part of people. Help us today. In this walk, people don't like to go through pretty much of anything. No. Mm. They don't want to experience nothing. Be honest. No. Now, they'll, they'll do certain things. Mm -hmm. Like a person, they'll do a crime. Well, uh -huh. but they're not willing to serve the time for it. Lord, well, if you don't want to serve the time for it, then don't do don't the crime. Do crime. Don't do crime. Don't do crime. Yeah. In, this, in this walk, my People Lord. are serving the Lord thinking that everything is going to be peace and free. Talk, man. Oh, mercy. In this oh. walk, you're going to experience a lot of pain Jesus Christ. serving the Lord. Yeah. Your biggest battle is they going to be like with God. people that say that they know God. Mm -hmm. All right. People that study, people yeah. that, you know, stay in the world, people that mm. supposedly stay on their knees, that is going to be your biggest battle because if you look at it in the world, what the Lord is trying to show his people. Well, but he told the apostles, listen, remember the same ones that fought me, yeah. they're going to fight you. Yeah. Yeah. The That's same right. cup that I'm going to drink, yeah. you go drink it. Yeah. The same yeah. cup that I'm going to bear, you Come go on, bear man. that same yeah. cup. It's in the word, man. 
actually yeah. Yeah. That now, work. Lord, if, you wanna, if you want to make it, you have to take my cross up. You gonna have to let go. Gotta let go. Mm -hmm. Cause I had to, cause I had to do some things. I had to let go of a whole lot of things in order to move to yeah. Kansas City because I need to. for a little time yeah. I was blind in this walk. I oh, need God. to. I'm guilty. Yeah, doctor. Cause I like to see a way out. Oh yeah. yeah. When you're constantly <laughs> trying to look into the spirit and all you see is you know darkness. You don't see oh, nothing God. else. You look at you know. To. See, I knew I, I knew I had a problem. Yeah. Go ahead, man. The Lord had to deal with me and let me know that you have you got to let go of some things. Yes, you should yes. pray. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You should stay here all the time. Yeah, you don't do that thank because you, you didn't got so wrapped thank up in God. the trials of life that you forgot <laughs> where your true blessings come from. Yeah, you forgot those things. Yes. Yes. Jesus, my God. You forgot those. Yes. You so much into you know the problem. Mm. Yes, Cause you forgot about the solution. Yes. Say that. Say that. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, you so God. mixed up into the problem, and how so you gonna get out? Of you forgot problem. about the main mm. person. Yes. That's sending it to you. <laughs> so I had to come to that understanding that I know that whatever God sends me through, yeah. He's the one that's sending it. Yeah. Whatever He's sending you through, He's oh, gonna yeah. bring you out of it. Yes, He is. Come on, He's the one that's sending it to you. Come on, so yes, He is. So I know. And all I got to do is continue to let go. I'm yes, sir. I'm going to wait on you. I'm not concerned about what my mom did. That's right. What my dad did. Okay. My I'm not concerned about what my job did. I'm not concerned about my boss. Come on, all right, come on in now. In the workplace where she died, I ain't concerned about that no more. All come right. on, Because I had to let go. Yeah. Because I know. Hallelujah. You're going to reap what you sow. Yeah, they're going to reap what you sow. And the word says that, you know, I am, you know. Show me the details. I don't be. I told him what okay. I don't want to know the details. That's it. 
Hallelujah. Why people are holding on. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. I don't know what it is that you're holding on to. Yeah, let it go. Yeah, Lord. All right. Let it go. But today yeah. I ask that you, you know, let it go. Let, let it go. go. Because, you know, of course the world is going to be a world. Yes, yes. But the church, we're supposed to be a group of people that love yeah. one another. That's right. Oh, That's right. Yes, and like as the word else. says, we have instructions on how to handle pretty yeah. much everything. Yes, we do. Yes, we, yes, we, we, do. we do. Even to how we're supposed to treat one another. Oh, yes. It's in the word. Like when I say, if, if, Lord, if, if, if a person has something with me, let me know. Okay. Yes. And I will apologize to you. I'm not going to worry about, you know, saying what did I do wrong. Or, you know, if I did something wrong, I'm going to let you. I'm going to Thank apologize. you, Jesus. Because I when I come to you, you're right always going to have a piece of slave with you. So, uh, if I got to let it go, yes, just so we can be at peace, yes. that's what I'm going to do. Got to let it go. That's Amen. one thing I always say. I want to wake up every day. Yeah. Yeah. When I see you, when I come in contact yeah. with you, when I look in your eyes, I want to have a clean slate with you. Yes, Lord. I don't care who it is. Yes, Lord. Because I don't want to be you that's going to cause me to go to heaven. I'm not that's right. right. That's right. Come on. Come on. So when I say if you if I if you felt that I offended you, I'm just speaking for myself. Yes, Lord. I'm Thank be the first you, Jesus. One. <laughs> Come to me, let me know. Yes, and I will Lord. apologize. Yes. There ain't gonna be no ifs or buts in it. Yes, I know Lord. that's right. No <laughs> if God, but God, and God. Thank you, Jesus. I have to realize one thing. But I have God to realize those things. My God, thank you, Jesus. Now, when I look into the spirit, I see your light now. Yes, Lord. I can see my way out of things now. Oh yeah. Yes, Lord. Lord. I'm not, that's all right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Let's see the Lord in here. God. Thank God. Yes, Lord, I'm done. The Lord told me that it's, it is done. Yes, it is. Amen. Let us stand. The doors of the church is open. Yes, Lord. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jesus. 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 That's why I'm here now because I had to give, give it up. Give it up. Oh, yeah. Because you got to love folks who, who hate you. Mm -hmm. You got to love them anyhow. That's it. And you can't get in if you don't love them. That's right. That's right, so Pastor. Y'all going to help me a minute? Yes, Lord. Now, if you hate somebody, you go to heaven without it. That's you sure it. You got to give me the key so I can unlock the gate. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Thank God for you today. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Lord. Thank God for you today. Yes. The young man preached out his heart. Amen. Yes, he did. Now, you didn't feel that message, so you better tell me yourself. I don't okay, you better say that. Because that's your truth. I don't see why Jesus put his time. I don't see why Jesus. Jesus just told the truth. Mm. He did what his father told him. Yes, yes, and yes. And that's what we got to start doing. That's here. it. Amen. That's it. Amen. Let us pray for one another. Yeah. All right. Pray for one another. Yes, Lord. So Amen. we can have a beautiful church. Oh, no, yes. yes. Amen. Amen. What he, what he, what he, what he, what he's saying? If you got anything against anyone? Yes. Amen. Go to him. Yes. And let him know. Mm -hmm. Matthew 18, mm -hmm. chapter and the 15 verse will tell you how to do that thing. Oh yes. God is good, isn't it? Yes, He yes, is. Yes, God, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. God is good. God is good. God oh, yes. is good. Oh, yes, and I want to thank, thank God for this. Amen. I don't know. Amen. Brother Steve. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Thank you. All right. Thank you. God is good. I want to thank you. Amen. Yeah, that's what you care about, baby. We care oh, okay. about I'm going to let you go. Thank okay. you, Jesus. You yeah. can come to this place, get on the hood, and leave. Maybe, no, maybe no, this, no, no, we still got to train them, Pastor. I, I, I don't got to help you. I don't yeah, got to help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We now need that, but we need to help. That's, that's right. That's right. See, now, education will help us to get them that's it. straight now. And you know, when they get straight, they're going to be strong in you. Yes, for real, though. God, look, God is teaching. We can teach them. Oh, them. yes. So thank God for you. We're going to let you go. Yes. Amen. But always you come to God, I'll give God your time. That's right. Just a few minutes of your time. Just a little time. Some time that you can walk out that door and have an accident. Yes. You don't want that. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. For you being obedient. Thank God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Um, last Friday, I went into broadcast, but it tells me when I'm good. You did. Amen. Amen. And we're Amen. trying to hold on to our broadcast. Oh, yes. Amen. If we possibly can, but we can't. We can do it all together. Oh yeah. But we can't do it by ourselves. That's right. 
Nobody can do nothing by themselves working mm -hmm. in the house of the Lord. But sometimes you got to stand alone. Yes. Thank God for everybody. Amen. 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 Yeah, nothing else. Is, uh, you have a Before word? we end the show, I believe I have. The, what I'm showing you is that letting go, as far as letting go and letting God, is in spite of what the enemy thought that he was going to try to do, he couldn't stop my praise. So the first thing you saw was me at the radio show, which I do, uh, Janetta Robinson Gospel Radio Show on Thursdays, WGLP, where gospel lovers belong. Um, I was invited to Pastor Vanessa Hightower birthday celebration. You're going to see some footage of that. Um, Pastor Vanessa Hightower, she had no idea that I had been struck in the face by this young man until after the next day when I called her, thanking her for having me as her guest. <coughs> <clears throat> for having me as her guest, excuse me. And she was just so overwhelmed. She was outdone to know that I didn't make up any excuses. That I just came and I just wore that mask because my lip was messed up. And as you can see, it's still messed up. And, it, it, you know, like I said, this battle ain't mine. So God's going to take care of this.
me. Yes, and that's what it came out to see. Yes. I thank you right now. Yes, I came, you. I done came, I'm going to say this and I'm off here. Yes. I done came from the wheelchair yes. to the to the walk, the, 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 the walker mm -hmm. to the crutches. Okay. Look Amen. where he brought Look me from. Hey. I'm thanking God right now. Yes, I thank you for the one. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, God bless you. Yes, and so you just heard the testimony yes, of Minister oh. Derek Davis, also known as D-Love. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was you. hit by a, a car, and he was on a motorcycle. Yeah. It knocked him out. When he woke up, he went through a lot of different yes, yes, phases yes. of his life. You know, his life blinked yes. right before him. Oh, yes. He had an out-of-body experience. Yes. Looking, yes. You're outside your body, looking down at your body. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Um, you know, uh, you don't know if you're going to heaven, hell, yeah, all the yeah. stuff is just flashing. That's and right. then God brings you, puts you back in your body. Right yeah, hallelujah. So God mm -hmm. brought this man Get back right. from right. death's right. door. Thank you. Yes, he did. Right. Right. His whole right. life flashed right. in front of him. And he realized God yeah. kept me here because yeah. I've got some unfinished business yeah. to do for the Lord. Hallelujah. And I got to do my work yeah. now before Thank it gets you, dark Thank and no man Thank can work you. before I get tired Thank and I can't work. Thank you, he could have been left yeah. crippled yeah. for life and not be able to drive yeah. and do nothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. He's yeah. up, yeah. driving around, he's yeah. driving himself. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He drove me to the red hill station. Hallelujah. Thank so we want to hear from Mother yeah. and the Robinson. I want to make sure you, we hear from Mother. Mother for Thank is a powerful yes. woman yes. of God. Anointed. Yes. Highly favored. And I'm not going to have no radio show and Mother can't speak. Mother? Yes. God for the testimony. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Going up to the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. yes. The Lord has been well pleased. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Oh, yes. I've been in that experience, brother. Mm -hmm. I know where you're going. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. When glory, glory. Chance. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hallelujah. We thank mm -hmm. God for Jesus. Thank, thank you. Thank God song. for Jesus. I yes. thank you for my day. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Because of who you who are. I give you Hallelujah. glory. Thank you. Oh, yes. Because of who you who are, I give you praise. Oh, yes. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and sing. Lord, we worship you because of who you are. Lord, we worship you because of who you are. As not Jehovah what God is doing child. for you, but the question is, what are you doing for the Lord? Yeah. And remember to go out into this community and show somebody God's love is To Ooh, God yeah. be the glory. Jesus. Praise him, praise him right now. Yeah. Right now. When I think about being disappointed, well, the show disappointed in the judgment. Disappointed in the judgment. Disappointed at the judgment. I'm like, Everything what you see ain't what it's put out to be. Love don't hurt. Love conquers all. <laughs> so, here you have let go and let God, which will be showing you that in spite of what the enemy be trying to do, because God honor marriages, the enemy try to just separate, devour, do what he still kill and destroy. God is still able to 
do what he says he's going to do. I mean, it is so... I can, it's unexplainable. It's unexplainable. Um, I just have to keep on holding on to God's unchanging hand. You know, I'm not going to even go there and finish. Thank you. <laughs> which will be the next show, too, that's airing after this. I mean, God has done so much for me um, that I'm just continuing to, 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 you can't stop my praise. You can't stop my praise. You just can't stop what you can't stop. That's the next show. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Small hair, girl here. Better know that. Back to this. Okay. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let 